Hello YouTube. Exciting times. We have PTR up and I've been checking it out and there's a lot of new stuff that's happening and I wanted to share it with you guys. First of all, the season, how it's gonna look. We will have three raids. We will have Vault of the Incarnates, Abarus, and Amir Brazil um, rotating each week, which means there's a lot of trinkets coming. Uh, for the dungeons, we will have all the Dragonflight dungeons, and the Dawn of the Infinite will be a hard mode dungeon, so not in the M plus rotation. Uh, and as a survival hunter, I'm gonna talk about it. Oh. Yeah, we will only talk about survival hunters now. We have our new tier set, which is from season one when we did Vault of the Incarnates. And it goes like this. Mongoose Bite, Carve and Butchery damage increased by 18%. Flat out 18% damage to all our spenders. That's all it does. Pretty good. Uh, I think it's a bit boring, maybe. But hopefully the damage numbers will be good, and that's also very important. For the four set, you have Mongoose Bite, Carve, and Butchery have a 20% chance to make your next Mongoose Bite, Carve, or Butchery cost 10, 10 less focus and deal 50% increased damage. The 10 focus is basically a third of... Um, our focus cost it every spender costs 30 focus and now it costs 20 when it procs and it's 20% chance so it's a pretty high chance for it which I I mean as I said it's a bit boring tier set but hopefully the damage numbers are there so we will be able to push and that's also equally important for the spec I feel like so people can enjoy survival hunters without it being C tier, you know, or something like that. So we'll see how that will turn out. Uh, a note with that is that um, don't look really what I have now, but my thoughts about the new tier set will be that mastery will be much better. You and your pets focus spending abilities deal increased percentage based increased damage. For reference, I had, when I copied over my character, and I had my old stuff, it was basically, what was it? It was like 30% increased damage, and I didn't have much mastery. Now I've been opting for, just by switching up, I have this ring, with a high mastery, and I have this one. And, you know, there's probably some mastery in here for the tier set. But uh, I didn't change uh, all of it. But I have more mastery. And now it's 53. And that's a 20% increase on top of your, all your spenders. Which is basically the two set again. So I feel like mastery is going to be a big stat. Crit and haste will still be equally as important. So... My thought for it when I'm gonna gear up my hunter next season is that I wanna hit my uh, true stat value for crit and haste first, so I have before it uh, does diminishing. I wanna hit that first and then have as much mastery as possible. That's my goal. Versatility will come behind, I feel. I feel like. Mm. But we'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of interesting stuff that could happen. We don't know yet. It's still PTR. Uh, this dropped yesterday, the PTR. And things are always subject to change. Anyway, some interesting trinkets that I feel like were that's worth mentioning. Of course, we have all the raid trinkets from both of Incarnate, Abras, and Amidrasil. And we also have a few trinkets from the dungeons. That's interesting. So I picked out some of them that I feel 
could be worth going for, or at least it's a decent upgrade when you get it. And the, let's start with the one I have equipped. For raid, I think controlled current technique is a good one, really good one. The critical strike with uh, static electricity that grants you attack speed, and then does AOE stuff with the uh, auto attacks. Sounds amazing with uh, combined with this one when you want to use spenders a lot and the attack speed will give you more focus because you're doing more out attack so that's also good but as i said i don't know but i think so uh, it was good before and i think it's even better now maybe with the stuff i mentioned about mastery i think beacon of the beyond is also a very good raid trinket it's a lot of damage i tested it on a um, dummy and I think I hit 2.7 million crit. That's quite a lot. For basically just equipping new trinkets and rings and a new tier set. Um, so. I don't know. <laughs> there are so many other ones. But this was my first trinket combo that I, that I felt really combined good together. Because I never want to go with two use trinkets and the control current technique is so good. It's the best one, I think, for quick ones. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. We have other ones. Uh, for example, I think instead of the beacon, you can have Grief Torch. It's also a very good trinket. <laughs> it used, everyone used it in season one, so that's gonna be a hot trinket for sure. Bomb Dispenser from um, Abrus, that can also be a very good trinket, still. I used it uh, during Season 2, it was good. We'll see how it plays out. I think mentioning worth mentioning is that it does fire damage. And we're gonna have both of these rings. Uh, Seal of Diurna's Chosen, that uh, burns them for additional damage when you do fire damage. Could be good. I mean, we should stack fire damage then. And this one is also interesting with the shield, because the shield helps us be more tankier in a squishier class as we are. And it has good stats with high mastery and haste. You need, you need all of them, so that's good. Mm. Back to trinkets. This one, fragment. Again, with the mastery, um, as a secondary stat this could play out very well if you're playing coordinated assault uh, as of now I've tested it I've just tested around with the no CD build but that might not even be the case next season we don't know pips <laughs> it is a good trinket but I don't know if it's gonna be the best one <laughs> But it's definitely worth, I mean, if you get it, it's not like, oh, it's such a bad trinket. It's a good trinket. I don't think it's gonna be top, but definitely a second option if you don't, haven't got the top tier on it. Same with Bandolier. Uh, we've used it this season a bit in the season three, uh, but I think Beacon and Grief Torch um, outplace them, also Bomb Dispenser. Um, and Cataclysmic Signet, good for raid, I don't know about the M+. Again, fire damage, so could work out well with the rings. Um, Whispering Incarnate Icon is also a really good one, it's similar to Pips and um, that might just be a uh, balancing issue, you know. So, ah, oh, wait, no, but it's different from what I, yeah, that's what it does. Uh, it gives us a lot of crit. I'm actually gonna say this one is probably not so good. Pips is better than 
You don't need the crit procs. We have enough crit as it is. If you just stack up till uh, diminishing. Same with augury. That can also be... I mean, if you happen to get it, sure, play with it, for sure. But... I don't see it being a top tier. Then we have uh, another interesting discussion, and that's between having the Rashok weapon, Jaron Pillar of the Elder Flame, or the Rashok, or oh, not Rashok, the Furak one. Stat wise, I think both of them are good. It, it's all just a matter of fixing your own gear to suit it. Uh, but worth mentioning is that I think. Oh, worth mentioning. My opinion is that the Turek one, uh, this one, is better for single target, while the Jarun is better for M, since it's AoE, you know, the frontal stuff. Combine that, I, I had a macro during season 2 when I macroed this one into my Fear of the Eagle, and that did a lot of damage. It's Oh yeah, now that I I realized something, since this one... This one procs with spenders such as Mongoose Bite and Butchery. This one will probably be huge since you're having uh, the proc chance of being able to do more spenders than and since it's such a huge part of your rotation, you're gonna get a lot of value out of this. So I would... Mm, this this one might actually be better than the Furek one overall. Depends on the numbers, I would say. Uh, but with that said, I think that's the main trinkets that I feel worth... Uh, that's gonna be relevant my top let's put it into a tier list i think let's put it like this top tier will be beacon grief torch and bomb dispenser F just slightly after that i think anvil good trinket from season two pips might be good cataclysmic might be good and the current is good Mm. This one, I don't think it's... I don't know if it pulls the numbers. We're not really that kind of spec, spec that has like a... Even if you do play Coordinate Assault, it's not gonna make every spell super powerful. Such as like, if you're a Red Paladin. This one is better, because with wings you can combo it with wings and then you have a super power for wings when you every ability is, you know, super strong. For us it's like, yeah we're gonna spend our normal ones, but they are not amplified at all. So it's basically give it agility to our normal, normal rotation and do big kill shots. Might be good in AoE, more good in AoE than uh, a single target. Uh, and then I think it's gonna look like this, kinda. So, top tier, these three combined with. Um, and as you see, this is all used trinket, so I would guess you have to put these ones. Always use a uh, equip one and then. One of those three. Other trinkets, I mean, we have more trinkets. I don't think Storm Eaters is good enough. It wasn't before. Spiteful Storm is not good enough. It, you're standing still, I don't like that. This one is not so good. Uh, the Igor's Flow Stone, I've never really used it. It wasn't good, so. No. Class Trinket. Might be good. Might, might. But I don't think it's gonna be super good. 
Oh yeah, we have the chromatic essence. That is, um, yeah, chromatic essence is also up here. It could, it, it could be somewhere. Like for equ equipping, is these freeze are good. Definitely, I would say like this in tier. Yeah. <clears throat> More trinkets. We have, of course, the ashes. Never really been used a lot this uh, season. Uh, Coiled serpent was decent in single target, but not not the best. And um, idol of pure decay was also decent, but I don't think it's tuned in well enough. Uh, same with sp uh, could be could be decent the bottle of spiraling winds that don't think this one is so good there might be a case with puzzle box is good depends on how good the mastery stacking will be if it's really good, I think you can have a good combo with it, maybe. Um, it's for single target. Uh, maybe both. Um, spin, nah, this one was never used. Ruby shell, no, I don't think so. Same with magma, never used. And not this one as well. So yeah, as you see, there's so many trinkets, and I don't know how they're gonna be tuned. It, we're gonna have to figure that out when we have more data, basically, what the trends are. But for me, I'm gonna aim at least, I'm gonna aim for getting controlled current, a beacon, a grief torch, bomb dispenser. That's gonna be my... Maybe this one, I don't know, I don't remember how good it was, but this would be my five top trinkets that I'm gonna go for. If I can get a bomb, grief torch, beacon, current, or chromatic essence, I think I'm in a good spot to have a variety. Yeah. I'm in a good spot to go between M plus and raiding with good trinkets for both of them. So that's my goal for next season. Get this trinket and then try it out with these other ones that I've mentioned and talked about. With that said, I hope you're um, also very excited as I am for the next season. I think it's going to be fun. A lot of interesting stuff will probably happen. Uh, as you know, it's not a real season, it's a fated season. so. There's not gonna be a world first or anything. It's gonna be more chill, and I kinda like that also. It's nice to have. Um, everything is not so hardcore, which is good. So I think we're up for a good season. It's gonna be fun to close out Dragonflight and then go into the War Within. That's also gonna be a very exciting period when that one comes out, hopefully. Will we get a... Yeah, this, it will probably release this year at least, you know. The usual November, December release. That's usually when we get it. With that said, uh, said, hope you found this informative. If you did, please subscribe, like, join me on Discord. We can talk more about the new trinkets that are coming. Or overall, how is Survival Hunters gonna be in the next season. I'm eager to talk to you guys. So check out the Discord link. It's in, it's in the description. And with that said, let's, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.